Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, keep in mind that this is your monthly reading for the first month of the year, January 2024. My best wishes to all of you for a blissful year ahead. This is going to be your group general reading, so please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And you know very well that in case you want to connect with me for a personal private reading or a healing process, my email ID, my website is mentioned in the description box below. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Now a lot of people do inquire about their private reading. Yes, the private reading can be absolutely different from a group reading because it do contains your own karma, your own energies your own aura your own chakra status so that can be definitely different let us see what messages do we have in your oracle card reading and then i'm also going to pull out your tarot card for the month and the crystal and few of your angel messages just now so in your energies aquarius you have a brilliant number four it's a rainbow blessing aquarius that brings unexpected miraculous lovely beginning to your year 2024 now when i see this happy family card i do feel that a case for a lot of you a legal case for a lot of you is also going to get resolved into your favor and this new year is going to bring a lot of materialistic money materialistic success to your life I do feel this is also a marriage time for a lot of you people who were single, who were waiting for their love partner. Yes, you will see a lot of good, happy celebration time in the month of January. And then you also have the third chakra, that is the solar plexus chakra. Don't allow your ego, your pride to come in between. The third chakra, Archangel Kemul says that you might put an impact on your relationship in the month of January because you are making a layer, you are making a boundary, you are making a limitation to certain things by putting your ego, your pride into between. If you are doing that, you need to be aware about it. And in case you are aware about it, it's time for you to, to absolutely work on that, to absolutely ensure that you are not putting any kind of hindrance in the in disguise of being happy, contented or a self-respect. If you feel that something is blocking, uh, you know, and you're putting your ego pride in between, it's important for you to withdraw from that situation and look that situation, that person or the whole relationship from a very compassionate viewpoint. That is something which is really going to help you out. And then you also have a beautiful number six with the card of contract. I mean, this is, I'm so happy. This is the first reading I'm doing on 1st of January for Aquarius. And you have such brilliant cards coming in. It, I told you that this happy family is primarily about your materialistic gain, money, career, finances. And this is a contract. This is definitely for a lot of you. If you are waiting for a letter to come, please know a letter is coming to you. It's a letter which is going to bring huge happiness into your family. And also this contract is a lot of for a lot of people who are into their own business, who are into their own venture. You have sent a lot of proposals last year and you are getting, or getting the benefit of this particular time. So yes, the whole year is starting on with a very big good news and it's a expected and unexpected kind of news coming to you. Now let us see what message do we have with angel number four. 2 and 6. You do have an angel number message 4, 2 and 6. That's your first angel number of the year. It says prayer and positive intentions will help your material needs materialize while worry only compounds the issue. Ask the angels to boost your faith up to the highest level. Now that's a wonderful confirmation in the initial part of the year and in your Fairy messages, yes, you have a confirmation because there is an idea, there is an opportunity which is coming your way. You have a card of business venture, Aquarius people. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity starting from this particular year, 2024. If you see 
all your oracle cards are today pinpointing or focusing or giving you a sign and a symbol, clear indication, clear confirmation that you are about to start primarily a business. Whether you're leaving your job, you're doing it completely full time, your business, or you are starting something parallelly. I do feel small, big, complete, full-time, part-time. You're moving into your own space very soon. And you have a card of pregnancy, which is definitely, again, a confirmation of a new idea. It says the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. Now, all your cards are indicating towards two things. One, it's a new idea into business or a new career opportunity. And the pregnancy card and the card of happy family also confirms that you are going to welcome a little angel into your life if you were looking forward to a family extension. This is a 100% confirmation to those pairs, those partners, those couples who are looking forward to welcoming an angel into their life. It's a 100% confirmation that you are going to hear the good news very very soon and then you have patience please which says what you are asking for is coming about have patience as there are a lot of unseen factors that needs to occur so if you feel that oh there is a delay i have been waiting for very very long please know there were certain details which were supposed to get you know worked out in heaven up there at your back which is which is important for you to witness the kind of result you want to witness and then see how the patience is bringing the needed reward the needed fruits the needed results into your life now let us see what messages do we have in the first 15 days of the month january 2024 and I'm going to pull out a few cards for January 1st, 15 days. And then I'm also going to pull out simultaneously the cards for the next 15 days. Let us see what messages do we have for you. In the first 15 days, you have a major arcana card, the death. It's an end to a troublesome situation. Now, this is a very powerful ending prolonged ending it is definitely going to give you pain some emotional turmoil because you were attached to a relationship now this could be an end of an existing love relationship and entering into a new one this could be an end of a long tenure job and starting something of your own. This could be end of an existing business and starting a new venture because all your cards are indicating towards new and death is a confirmation of a big end. But yes, since the attachment was very high, the effort which you have put in is very high. It is obvious on human level that you will feel pain and turmoil a little bit in ending but actually it is naturally coming to an end because from past seven to eight months Aquarius you were sensing that things are not working in this association in this partnership in this collaboration and it's time for you to move forward so death is a card of surety of that ending and you have three of pentacle which is again a celebration time primarily it's a pentacle card the presence of taurus virgo capricorn energy into your reading it's a confirmation that yes you will be celebrating something in workplace it's time also for you to work with more people work in teams work in collaborations do more professional socializing now if i see your overall reading I do feel that more than personal friendships or relationship time, it is more of professional time which is beginning at a very brand new level for you. It's time for you to explore the usage and benefit of the time. And then you also have a card of strength which is a Leo presence energy. Your patience, your calmness, your willpower, your strength for this transition from this painful in establishing the new which is getting reflected into your reading that needs a lot of strength a lot of courage because you need to handle your emotions at a very high level this month i do feel that you will be having a lot of emotions yin and yang energy 
which will help you to gain more wisdom that whatever is happening is needed for you to grow holistically. Now let us see what messages do we have in the second part of the year. Second part of the month, you have a new beginning with Ace of Wands. So many cards indicating new job, new work to you. I'm thrilled to see that there is one, two, three, four, five and six. Five cards, six cards are representing a new professional beginning. Be ready to start that. And then you have King of Sword, a high level raise promotion you can expect. You will be very sharp in your tone, in your communication and you will be very high in your wisdom and intelligence. But you have to keep a cautious check on your communication that you are not so rude or blunt up to the extent of hurting people. And then you also have a beautiful wheel of fortune. Yes, a period of transition, a period of transformation, a period of you moving and crossing through the bridge and landing to the other side, which is going to give you a lot of prosperity, growth and wealth. It's a wonderful reading for you, Aquarius. I'm thrilled to see that how so many cards are indicating towards new financial beginning. Now, let us see what Archangel Michael message do we have. What is the message and what is the prayer for you for the month of January? And we do have a card of prayer will help this situation. So if you have any difficult situation, which you feel is very difficult for you to handle or manage, it's time for you to give it to Archangel Michael, who is the master angel and who handles all difficult and not so encouraging or positive situations. And your prayer is, dear God and Archangel Michael, you can ask one else to whom you pray, you know, such as Jesus or any other God or angels it is suggesting. I ask for your divine intervention. You can explain your situation. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me and this situation quickly. Thank you very much for your help. That's a wonderful, wonderful message for you. Now let us see what messages do we have from your other angels for the month of January. And you do have two cards out there. It says caution is warranted. Look deeper, intensely into a situation before proceeding further for any major decision. Get all the completed information before you proceed ahead. And the other card says you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires. Don't allow yourself to compromise, adjust or modify into any situation because you are entering into a very powerful and a very favorable kind of tenure. It's very important for you to utilize the time period completely. Now let us see what messages do we have from your crystal oracle, which crystal is going to be lucky for you and what is going to be the crystal message. And you have a beautiful topaz. Look at the color of the crystal, a very popular one. It says forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger, guilt, resentment or regret as it is actually blocking your health and happiness. It's time for you to release what is not helping you, what is holding you back. I told you that this particular month, you are going to experience a lot of emotions. Emotions might overpower your practical, rational or logical mind. But when you have so many great openings coming in, it's important for you to leave what is not giving you happiness, satisfaction or worth you being there in that situation, relationship or association. But it's time for you to move forward for your own mental, emotional, spiritual, financial and physical rest, rejuvenation, peace and happiness. Because Aquarius you have given a lot to a past situation and I am telling you that situation which you are lingering on is not going to change, is not going to modify because this is for the first time the angels are saying don't compromise, don't put yourself down. 
just stand up for what you feel what you believe is true for you is good for you you know your where your happiness lies just bank on that and forgive it and move on it's a very beautiful and a very clear reading aquarius i wish you all the very best for the new a big new which is coming into your reading i will see you next time very soon be blessed